Hello friends. Welcome back to the lecture series on high voltage engineering. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the numerical on Townsend's theory and Paschen's law. Let us begin with the first numerical. The numerical statement goes like this. A steady current of 600 ampere into 10 to the power minus 6 flows through the plane electrode. So let us consider this plane electrode. If one side is cathode and another side is anode. And there is a gap between the two electrodes of distance D. This is having a gap of 0.5 centimeter. And there is application of voltage 10 kilovolt. It means 10,000 volt is applied to this electrode. We have to find out the Townsend's first ionization coefficient, and that is represented as alpha. So, alpha is question mark. Now, let us consider the current which is given as 600 into 10 to the power minus 6 ampere for a distance of 0.5 centimeter. There is another current, so I just name this as I1 and D1. I2, the value of that as 60 into 10 to the power minus 6 ampere for a distance of 0.1 centimeter. Now, considering field constant, it means that the electric field which is present between the contacts of the electrode is constant. That electric field for the case is constant, which is represented as E. Right? So here we have this as electric field. Now, to determine this first ionization coefficient, we have an equation for Townsend's first ionization. It is I equal to I naught e to the power alpha d. So it means that considering first current, we get this equation. I naught is constant e to the power alpha that we have to find out for a distance of 0.5 centimeter. This is equation 1. 60 into 10 to the power minus 6 is another value with same value of current e to the power alpha into 0.1 centimeter. This is equation 2. Now divide equation 1 by 2. Why we are doing this? Because we have to find the value of alpha. And another point is as equation 1 carries 600 ampere and Equation 2 carries 60 ampere. So, therefore, this value is bigger. So, what we get is 600 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 16 to 10 to the power minus 6. Now, here 10 to the power minus 6 and 10 to the power minus 6 of numerator and denominator get cancelled. And 600 divided by 60 gives us 10. It is equal to e to the power alpha into 0.5. As we get divided by e to the power point alpha point 0.1. So, therefore, directly you can use the mathematical rule. We get this. Let us write this as 10 is equal to e to the power 0.5 alpha minus 0.1 alpha, which gives us e to the power 0.4 alpha. Now, to get this alpha, we have to take natural log on both sides. So natural log means ln of 10 is equal to ln of e to the power 0.4 alpha. That is 0.4 alpha into natural log of e, which is equal to 1, and therefore it is 0.4 alpha. Now alpha is equal to natural log of 10. That is equal to 2.3026. Using calculator, you can do calculation divided by 0.4, and therefore the value of alpha is 5.75 per centimeter tau. So, this is your answer to this value of alpha. Hope you understood this first numerical. Let us consider second numerical. This is the observation which is given. In an experiment to 
determine the dielectric strength of the oil and they said you you have to find this power law equation now here the gap spacing is d in centimeter and breakdown voltage in kilovolts so for these values of the distance and breakdown voltage we have to find this we have to find this the power law equation is given by vb equal to k into d to the power n right where k and n is unknown so let us do one thing set one or case one for this case consider vb as 88 for a gap distance of 4 say this is equation 1 another set value is 165 for a distance of 8 to the power n this is equation 2 now here as 165 is greater than 88 so divide equation 2 by 1 kk get cancelled you get 8 to the power n divided by 4 to the power n equal to 165 by 88 this is equal to 1.875 so what do you get 2 to the power n is equal to 1.875 again by using natural log ln 2 to the power n is equal to n into n into ln of 2 and ln of 1.875 implies n into ln of 2 is 0.693 and ln of 1.875 ln means natural log is 0.6286 now implies n is equal to 0.6286 upon 0.693 gives me 0.9068 now if this is the value of n then by referring equation 1 you can find the value of k and this is 4 to the power 0.9068 now by using calculator you can get the value of k as 25.03 as it is constant there is no unit to this so in set 1 we use two values set 2 in set 2 referring same equation but now the set of values are different now the set of values are 135 is equal to k into 6 to the power n so this is 3 212 is equal to k into 10 to the power n equation 4 divide 4 by 3 which is equal to 212 by 135 which comes out to be 1.57 it is equal to kk get cancelled kk get cancelled you have 10 to the power n upon 6 to the power n which comes out to be 1.67 to the power n so again by taking natural log on both the sides you get 1.57 ka natural log is equal to n into natural log of 1.67 and implies the value of n for this particular case using calculator is 0.88 now refer equation 3 that gives you 135 equal to as we have to find k keep that 6 to the power n means 0.88 and therefore the value of k again by using calculator is 27.9 now the average value of n average value of n average value is 0.9068 plus 0.88 divided by 2 the average value of n is 0.89 average value of k power law equation that means n and k it is 
plus 27.9 divided by 2 and it is equal to 26.46 again i am saying as there is no unit to this as this is constant let us use third numerical to find pd minimum and vb minimum for the given numerical where the values are a b and gamma so the equation pd minimum is equal to e into k upon a where k is natural log of 1 plus 1 by gamma e is always constant 2.718 the value of a is given in the numerical and this is gamma 0 0.02 so therefore pd minimum is equal to solve this using calculator you get pd minimum as 0.8 times same way vb minimum see these equations are already dealt in the theory classes so the theory lectures you can listen so that you can understand the concept of this pd minimum with the vb minimum and so on now vb minimum is given by b into b upon a into e into k where k is again same the value of e is 2.718 so by putting the values of all these parameters, we get 365 by 12 into 2.718 natural log of 1 plus 1 by 0 0.02. And therefore, VB minimum is equal to 325 volts. So, hope you understood this third numerical where we have to find the VB minimum and PD minimum. And another question that is derived expression, it is already covered in theory class. Now, let us discuss one more numerical, rather, this is your last numerical, numerical number four. The statement goes like this find the breakdown voltage, breakdown strength, that is what will be the breakdown strength. So find the breakdown strength and breakdown strength is always given by the equation E is equal to V upon D where V is breakdown voltage and D be the gap. Another equation format of this which is already discussed in class theory class is this one. The small gaps are given so for a small gap of 1 mm generally this value of Breakdown strength is in kilovolt per centimeter. That is the standard equation for this. So you have to convert this quantity into centimeter, which is 0.1 centimeter. And therefore, electric field for first case. So I just mentioned E1 for a even distance, which comes out to be, what is the unit for this? Kilovolt per centimeter. Now for a distance of 20 centimeter, definitely this field get affected because it is in denominator, that distance is D is in denominator. Keep this centimeter value of 20, that is second distance. So this gives you 25.58 kilo volt per centimeter. Now here you can see as this distance is increased 0.1 centimeter to 20 centimeter so almost 200 times that distance has increased right and here the value of voltage is decreased almost 50 percent right but this is kilovolt per centimeter okay so this is what our last numerical hope you understood this concept of the numericals we have covered all the sets and types of numericals with the equations which we have covered in the theory classes. So go through the theory sessions so that you can understand the concept of these numericals. So thank you so much guys. Take care.